Hey guys, I've just been watching uh, NYCNC's latest Fusion 360 video and I noticed a couple of things I could contribute to, to speed the workflow up a little bit. So first of all, I mean I haven't modelled the entire clamp that John modelled up but just to demonstrate the point, I've used um, a primitive and just extruded a cylinder and I wanted to show that you can place a hole instead of drawing a circle and extruding it um, good um, modeling practice is to use a hole feature if, if the CAD product has got one um, and Fusion 360 does and it's a quicker way of generating holes and a, and a more precise way of generating them than using a sketch so the other benefit is and this is a difference actually between Fusion 360 and Inventor and, and is more like SolidWorks in that regard um, I can place a hole onto a cylindrical face so all I need to do is select the face I can change the diameter of the hole um, or type in the diameter that I want so let's go over 15 15 mil diameter hole now you can control the position of it using this little um, glyph here and you'll notice that the center angle changes on the, the dialogue so you can position the hole at any point radially around the circle and I'm fine with the position it's in there but then also if you want to know where whether it's going to be positioned in the center or not um, you'll see in the background it's a bit hard to see but you actually have this sorry I'll just switch that back to zero and then click on this little node he says it's, this is definitely something that can be improved but essentially this positions the hole to the left and the right and eventually <laughs> when you select on this little node here you, this, the dimension um, tool will appear and I know that the extrusion of that cylinder was 25 mil so I can type in 12.5 and it's going to position the hole right in the center of that face and then all the other options uh, are available for the hole so that's that so complete that and now I've got a perfectly modeled hole um, that I can use to in my in the cam side of uh, Fusion 360. Now, if I just carry on through my timeline here, actually now I've got a duplicate hole, so I can I can delete that. Um, I've just added a hole in the middle here just to to, to um, clean out the inside of the model, and I've created a sketch just to replicate that slot that John uh, John had in his. And I've only selected that center profile uh, and extruded it down, so I don't need to trim off. I could dimension everything, but I don't have to trim it off because uh, Fusion 360 will find the intersection between the model edges and the sketch, again, in a similar way to SolidWorks. All right, so going over into the cam environment, one of the different things that's different about Fusion 360 and also Inventor HSM um, are the, the contour selections. So um, John touched on that in his video um, and in the comments as well a few, few people have pointed out that, um, this method of um, adjusting the, the contour selection. Um, so that creates the open profile. Now somebody else rightly pointed out that if you hold down alt you can immediately se select a single edge. Now in this case here um, by doing so in um, Fusion 360 is automatically finding this or making the assumption that the the contour needs to stay within this circle because the tool is isn't um, small enough to pass through this slot so there's no need to actually generate a separate sketch here and, and select it and that's it so you'll see the resulting toolpath is um, is perfectly good and passes over that gap in the model just fine okay so I hope those tips were um, somewhat helpful and um, yeah I'll try and uh, do a few more Fusion 360 videos as well passing on my knowledge from Inventor HSM. Okay thanks for tuning in guys and I hope this helped John and uh, we'll see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye.